Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're still watching Creative Business with Lloyd Luna on Global News Networks. Very interesting because right now we have someone from an ancient Egypt. No, <laughs> not necessarily. But John Riyad is the president of Housing Interactive, one of the most successful uh, brokerage uh, uh, companies here in the Philippines right now. If that is correct, Sir John. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming. You did not fly from uh, Denmark. No, I did not fly me. from Denmark. I just, no? I'm based here. Based here for how long, sir? Uh, past 10 years. Past 10 years. Uh, you know of some Tagalog words, Filipino? Oh, Maronong. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we cannot we cannot sell you whatsoever when we speak in Tagalog. I I would understand part of it. Right, yeah. right, interesting. Why in the Philippines? You're coming from a country, which probably most Filipinos would like to be. Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm born and raised up in Denmark. Uh, for the past, uh, the first 25 years I lived there, I was traveling around the Europe. I had one year in Germany. And uh, I, was, I was at college that time, mm -hmm. uh, a Copenhagen Business School, on my fourth year. So at that time, I already finished uh, my bachelor. Right. Um, so I was, I was uh, doing my master. And at that time, I thought, OK, I want to leave for, for like six months mm -hmm. and see what what's going on in the Philippines. But I mean, what prompted you to? So I had, a, I had an internship in a Danish company. Mm -hmm. And then? And uh, after my internship, I basically said, OK, I want to stay here. <laughs> I wow. don't want to return. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what, what, what made you decide? What made you well, decide? Well, Aside I, from the no, Filipino beauties, of course. Well, that's, that's one, one, yeah. one part. I'm uh, sure. <laughs> the heat, the tropical weather is another wonderful part of, of your country. Um, third, at, at the time when we when we launched Housing Interactive, um, there was no no such thing as an on online brokerage company. So it was still very much up to individual brokers to kind of uh, go around and service uh, mm. expats or right. or Filipinos and finding rentals. Right, right. So we we kind of we kind of said, okay, why don't we just put it online? Mm. and try to uh, get clients right. worldwide. Yeah, because I mean, ten, about 10 years ago, I, 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 was, I was still in college. Uh, I, mean, I may probably have a good grasp of this uh, you know, online brokerage, but uh, about nine, 1999, I think, uh, internet started in the Philippines. So in 2003, when, when you started, probably, yeah. You must be correct. I mean, nobody would think that it's even possible. Yeah, there, there were, there were, there were sites. So, when we when we bought the domain name back November or December two thousand and three, uh, we had we had an opportunity to go online. Right. Uh, and at that time, uh, if you go go to U.S. Mm -hmm. or you go to Europe, any 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 sites uh, would already be present. Right. While in the Philippines, it was still uh, still new. I mean, did you not hesitate because, you know, that's the scenario? Well, um, probably it's too early. Don't say it, but I'm, I might be a gambler. <laughs> <laughs> that, that will so, sound like... So, 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 <laughs> so, so we, invest, we invested, uh, I, think, I think, less than 100,000 pesos. Right, right, right. I think it was 80,000 pesos. Right. Getting the side up of the mm -hmm. ground, um, mm -hmm. getting getting the office and getting new people like right. two staff right, to start right. with and then then we would then we would uh, basically just take pictures mm -hmm. of properties that were for rent and then upload it in the upload site. on the site and then through Google mm -hmm. basically right through Google or through Yahoo mm -hmm. uh, basically find clients how much how, how much time d did you have before you you finally uh, get clients uh, we, getting we pay, we pretty much had clients from from day one from from the website interesting I mean, yeah, the yeah. first day the, the website is up not not the very first day but from the very first day we had referrals and we were just sending out right. inquire we were just sending out emails to see if there were anyone interested right and then basically we we were just focus on the groundwork right there are other there are other industries that you probably could have uh, 
gun right. too. I mean, right. why, why, in, why in housing? Well, real estate is always a sector, right? That is, that will, will last. Right. Like people need to, to stay somewhere. I mean, yeah, but but I, I don't know uh, how you have seen uh, Metro Manila or the Philippines yeah. in 2003. Yeah. I mean, in 2003, uh, very few high-rise buildings, yeah. very few communities. Right. I, I think uh, 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 real estate companies are just. You know, I, I don't know. They are probably in, in a in in a con 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 conceptualization stage mm. still. Right. So. Right. Is that part of being a well a visionary? No, I, I just I just think that it, it was a concept that was that was working mm -hmm. in, in the Western countries. So uh, uh, we we saw that there already were expats coming. Right. I know back 2003, uh, 2003, mm -hmm. the, um, the bottom mm -hmm. of the Asian crisis happened. Right. So so the timing was was good at that time. Right. So you can sort of be. Bounce uh, back. Bounce back. Yeah. yeah. So, so from 2003 actually up to now, uh, it's been a growing industry. So it's been fun. Right. But I mean, uh, we also had a, uh, a financial uh, crisis in 2007. Yeah. 2007. Did, 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 did it uh, affect? Yeah. 2007, 2008, we, we obviously had to hold back on our investments and be cautious. Right. And, uh, and, and, and we were not aggressive. Uh, expanding as we are right mm -hmm. now so we, we you are not losing you're just we, uh, we were just we were we were actually still profitable right it's uh, so you interesting can, you I can should be in that industry <laughs> not in here <laughs> tell me more something about that you is a good business yeah is it, it, it is, is it a good business. yeah <laughs> uh, I, I know right because you know I uh, just a, a couple of months ago I, I decided to to buy a house and lot somewhere yeah. in in Cavite area yeah. now uh, tell me uh, do, do do people really have the money for 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 your what, what you're selling? Or if they don't, do they do yeah, um, things that they should so they can buy yeah. from you? I mean, uh, there is ten more than ten million OFWs uh, who who can afford uh, to to leverage themselves and buy a, a home mm -hmm. for the family or 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 for them for themselves. Um, and then there is also, if you, if you look at if you look at the population of the Philippines, uh, we are now 90 million, and, yeah, and I, I believe I would I would believe that five to ten percent mm -hmm. of, of that population has has the uh, capacity the to capacity to, to purchase. So, yeah, I mean you are not going anywhere, right? No. Right. No. <laughs> right. So so if you if you look if you look at that percentage. Uh, it, it's a lot of million, a lot of millions of people right. buying properties so, and, <laughs> and looking for rentals. Yeah, there, there should be some sort of a sh shortage, uh, a shortage of uh, the offering. In fact, if they do buy, yeah, I mean this this percentage, yeah, right. But what do you do when you are stressed out? When I'm stressed out, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go to the gym right. uh, and I do, and then lift everything you can, and then I. Uh, <laughs> I, I relax and I go out with friends and I also play poker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just to relax. Interesting. Yeah. And then, how many times do you do this in a year? Uh, relaxing. I mean, play? the stress, the stress, stress out. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I was actually more or more stressed in the beginning mm -hmm. than than I am now, because uh, in housing interactive, we 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 have the strongest mm -hmm. management ever. Uh, so. Um, we have a very good organization, yeah. and they really uh, uh, are taking right. the business to the next level. I'm sure. Is there any other? Uh, is there any reason that you would like to go back to to your uh, birth country? To Denmark? Yeah. Uh, eventually, when when everything is set up, uh, it's a possibility. Right. But many Maybe, less, but may you, you've heard of, of the things that's going on in in Europe, right? I yeah. Mean, yeah. Uh, I, th I think Europe will bounce back eventually. Uh, the system is solid. Uh, mm -hmm. However, uh, for the next five, ten years, Southeast Asia is, is the region to be right. in. No, no doubt of that. Right. So you've, gone, you've called on some, some of your friends to, 
to join you here. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the boat is sinking right there. Go to there, 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 there are a lot of people actually investing uh, uh, in businesses. In that the makes your life easier yeah, now, yeah, 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 isn't yeah. it? But, but if, you, if we just go around, you go to Greenberg, or you go to the Ford, you would, mm. you would just see expats. No, so it's like a, a, a little Singapore, so to speak, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's there's many more expats coming in. Actually, if I have a, a, a foreigner visitors, I yeah. I take them there. Yeah, and just and, there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and 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 you see big businesses like like Soler just mm -hmm. opened, right? And they they are building some more. And they're building more casinos, right? Yeah. Because they they can see the tourism is. Right. So you, you will have, that's for you, so you can have uh, some options, yeah, yeah, choices. We, we, that's we, for you when yeah. you, <laughs> you, you do your poker thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I'm, 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 I'm just playing just yep, for just fun. Playing for fun. But uh, the casino industry, the gambling industry is very, very interesting in the right. Philippines. Uh, uh, Mr. Enrique Rasson, who mm -hmm. owns Soler, has done a very, very good job. Right. And he is actually hiring Filipinos right. to come back. Uh, but you don't have any plan of investing in, in that particular industry. If, if you if you go into uh, to that sort of business, you need more millions than right, right, all right. Now. And so that will that would mean more stress <laughs> <laughs> in your life. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So uh, how does it work? Housing Interactive. The website is housinginteractive.com. Yeah. How does it work? So uh, you go into our website. Uh, you find us probably through Google. You search apartment for rent, mm. Makati. So it is optimized. It's it's search engine optimized. We have our internal uh, group, SEO, yeah. in, uh, internal SEO group uh, that really just focus on on, on making sure, adding content, right. adding listings, uh, making blogs. Mm -hmm. So Google sees that. Right, right. The robots of Google discover that we are actually very strong. Right. So from there, uh, any individual will go to our website and find whatever they like. Mm -hmm. And they would inquire on the site. And then an agent would take them out for viewing. And if we, if we are successful, we close the deal mm -hmm. and we receive commission. Basically. Really? Yeah. Brokerage in itself. <laughs> very in simple. Action. Very yes, simple. Very brokerage. simple concept. <laughs> I, I should have thought about that. I mean, <laughs> no, but but you me. have you have a lot of individuals working mm. uh, on the street. Right. Uh, mom and pop stores. That's what we call them. Right. And and we they go are, there and then they. Yeah, yeah. So so we want to we want to work with all the mom and pop stores. Wow. As long as they have good listings. Yeah, we of course. Sh we share 50-50. Pueden -50. amande. <laughs> you need to believe that. <laughs> All right. Interesting. And then, um, uh, how many people are working for you full-time? Okay. We, we, uh, we started with uh, four people, and now I think we have 65 uh, working in our office in, in the Philippines. Right. And we also um, started an office mm -hmm. in Vietnam, right. Saigon. Basically, to do the same concept as we My do. My God, I mean, if, where did you get that being visionary? Are you a visionary? Um, I'm, I, th I believe I'm a visionary, yeah. Right. Because you know, I, I, uh, about two years ago, I, I was in Vietnam, mm. and then I probably would, would have spotted some opportunities right. also. Right. I know that the money is yours. You know. But I mean, it's, it's all about creating one platform and working on that platform and, and uh, right. making it better and better. And from there, you basically can can do real estate. Right. So we, we are really focused on just improving our our uh, system, sorry, system yes. technology right. system. And that's why we have all these people in the organization working. Uh, are you that. directly working with uh, the big guys in real estate business? The developers? The Ayala, yeah. yeah. Um, Ayala Land and Century Property. And they, they give up, say. And all they right, do it. They, 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 of course, we, we work with, with them because they, they give us uh, commission. Mm -hmm. uh, when we sell their properties, but the developers are, so to speak, they they have their own agents. Yeah, exactly. So they're very very strong themselves. Right. In selling their their development. Do they see you? Uh, do do some of them uh, see you as a threat to their own? No, I, I see them as allies. 
as long as they and they see us and as long as they yeah as long as they give us our commission and <laughs> 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 like all right ladies and gentlemen more to come on great business when we write when we get right back hey.